Today's lesson is about permutations. First of all, try to see how many different meal combinations you can make with three salads, two soups, and four entrees. Many people figured out 24. Let's see how that was done. If you start with a Caesar salad and pair it with the cheddar broccoli soup and then with each of the other meals and then do the same thing for the French onion, we can see that each combination has eight meals. And so then if we do that for each of the other salads, we do come up with 24. Another way you could find that is to multiply three salads times two soups times four entrees for a total of 24. This is called the fundamental counting principle. And you find it by multiplying the number of ways each independent event can occur, um, and then you get the total possibilities. See if you can figure out how many possibilities there are for seven digit phone numbers that can be created if the first number is not zero and one, and the following prefixes are not allowed. First, let's think about it, uh, the seven digits. Those are the numbers from zero to nine, so those are 10 digits. Then, let's think about the spaces we would need for seven numbers. We'll wait on those other numbers till the end. Some students guessed answers. And then we decided to figure out if 0 and 1 weren't allowed, 8 numbers could go in the first blank, 10 and the rest. So we have 800 possible prefixes. But then we had those other prefixes that didn't work, so we should subtract them out. So there were 6 that didn't work. That leaves us with 794 prefixes times 10,000 for a total of... 7,940,000. Let's see what we could do with five books. Um, how many ways they could be arranged on a bookshelf. First of all, think about the five books. Think about five places you could put them. Let's think about how many of those books could go in the first place. Well, all five of them could go in the first place. But if we put one of those five in, we only have four left over for the second blank. And if we put one of those four in, we only have three left over for the third blank, and then two, and then one. So the answer turns out to be 120. This is called a permutation. The symbol for permutation is P, parentheses N comma R, meaning a permutation of N objects taking R at a time. This is for things that are arranged in a certain order. Let's try this example. We have a total of seven students. We want to line all seven of them up to take a picture. The symbolism would be seven things taken seven at a time. We have seven blanks. and we're trying to put all seven students into them. So the first blank could have seven, and then on down the line. Multiplying leaves us with an answer of 5,040. Now let's see if we could find out how many ways we could select a president and vice president, but the president or the vice president cannot hold both positions. We have the same seven students only this time we're only selecting two out of the seven. So that's an example of seven things taken two at a time. So we fill in our two blanks. The first blank can be filled with seven things. The second blank was six for a total of 42. And that is how you answer the question. Go ahead. This is a symbol for what's called factorial. You can do these on your calculator 
or you can just uh, multiply it out. That's what it looks like on the calculator. It's an exclamation mark. All right, the worksheet is on the web. If you do not have it, um, feel free to go through this as many times as is helpful.